am requesting political asylum oh, on her. Oh, oh, oh my god! Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Mary and I make regular reaction, review and gaming videos. So if you haven't already, push that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss a video from my channel. And of course, you can find the uncut version of this video over on Patreon. Link is in the description bar below for that, as well as my new channel, Fairy Cherry, where the content may vary, but it's still the same old Mary Cherry. So today you will notice that I'm in different attire to what I'm wearing in the reaction video. And that is because originally I posted my live reactions over on Twitter twitch.tv slash Mary Cherry same way it's spelled on Instagram and Twitter and uh, I just did live reactions for the expanse I'm going to be continuing to do live reactions for the expanse so I'll come out on twitch first then patreon and then YouTube so welcome to part three of season two I'm very excited for the season especially the first five episodes because I have heard that the first five episodes conclude book one so even though it's in season two it kind of closes the chapter that season one so started so that's going to be really cool for me to get to that point point. and overall I'm just really excited for this season because I just hear that it gets better and better so without further ado guys let's get watching I'm not sure, I'm not sure. <laughs> god I love him well, I'm not a homicidal maniac <laughs> thanks for clarifying that Old and Naomi they're not like me I'll watch your back, but they'll find your little girl I'm not sure how many people have killed but I'm not a homicidal maniac Oh, why they stop at those plants? A single soldier kills a dozen Marines on the surface of Ganymede without a vac suit. <laughs> Please, the MMC trains their people to believe they're invincible when that failure is an unacceptable option. He's well, so Sergeant cool. Draper failed, and then she snapped because she couldn't deal with it. So you think she's lying? I think she's crazy. Still, <laughs> I wouldn't mind getting her in a room alone. And after Eros, my definition of crazy has contracted <laughs> significantly. There's no point talking to her again. The point is, why they was bothering her, and she was ordered to suppress it. Mm -hmm. In her quarters, resting. And in no frame of mind to answer any more questions, I assume. I'm afraid not. <laughs> a friend of Sergeant Draper's family here to offer moral support. He didn't seem like the supportive <laughs> type. Uh, I love Your Christian. ships are still heading towards ours at Ganymede. So unless your intention is to have us shooting at each other again, let's do what we came here to do. <laughs> you really fucked up in there, Gunny. Oh, I damn. Know, but I know I saw something. A man standing on the surface of Ganymede. Just gaslighting her, man. a back suit. You absolutely sure about that? How is this? This isn't this not crazy. This isn't not possible. I think we asked too much of you too soon. But you believe what you saw is true because you need it to be true. To explain how your team was killed. Yeah, that's what true. Happens? But also she saw what she saw. Home back to Mars. You've earned it. Then we do what's best for you and for the core. Oh my god, they're gonna make sure she's silenced like for good. Before I leave. This doesn't feel like Eros, does it? Maybe it just hasn't started yet. I haven't seen Strickland around for a while. What do we do now? I'm not the guy you should be asking. Oh, she... This yellowing indicates a nitrogen imbalance. We have phage-resistant bacteria in the hydroponic lines to prevent that, which means that something got in and killed the good bacteria. Sometimes when they talk about all this the science shit, I'm just condemned. so lost. Is that a hard fix? Hydroponics. Circumstances, no. Oh my god! Dick! Howard! Good out. Our children are out there somewhere. Scared and alone, and you just and you just leave. You just oh. You done? <laughs> it's got nothing to do with you. He's helping me find May. Yeah, dude. What you gotta say about that? To look for he took May out of the clinic before the mirrors fell. That's it. Bro, with that. Still with him, that. Maybe Katoa is too. We we gotta go. You know where Strickland is. We gotta we gotta show this whole thing to Roma. We we gotta go right hold now. On, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Who's Roma? I'll talk to Roma for the both of us. I promise. For May and Katoa. May and Katoa. Yay! More Christian scenes. She's an exemplary soldier who does what she's told to. What's wrong with you? Sit down. She doesn't believe a single thing. She's so sus. I think she did see something on Ganymede. Ah. Something we're not supposed to know about. Ah. I was fueling these thoughts. I believe that Ganymede was a test of a new weapon that Jules Pierre Mao is developing for Mars. Oh. Based on technology he unleashed on Eros. You've been in contact with him? No, but I was aware of his weapons research. Ganymede. Because I was working with him. Oh my God. What's she going to do with this information now? You've known for a while. Ever now that he's... Frank to grab kill. I know it makes no difference, but I had no hand in that, Christian. 
that you covered it up. You protected Jules. You need to understand that. She looks like she's crying, by the way, or like about to tear up. As a conversation about peace, about the discovery of this incredible proto molecule on Phoebe. Oh my gosh. This was a way to guarantee the safety of the Earth. At a terrible price. You're yeah. the one who taught me that Earth must come first. And Eris, a hundred thousand so. Did I teach you that? If I had known exactly. what was going to happen on Eros, I would have stopped the project and Jules Piramau along with it. And you know that! Eros nearly destroyed this planet. Mm-hmm. You will have to answer for your part in that. Thank you. Some consequence for this dickhead. And I will. But what we need to do right now is keep the system from burning down. Finally, but the best thing he could have done was be honest to her. I'm, I'm glad he realized that. It's just the beginning. Oh, that face. She, she's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at her. Poor girl. Where is she? She's all alone right now. I can't get over how beautiful Gunny is. Like, for real. Ooh. She wants to see the ocean! Hell yeah! Deep down, she's a true Kiwi. Oh my gosh. Wow. This is mind-blowing. Hell yeah, gun. Whoa, whoa. Oh wow. Damn, that gravity. Oh my gosh, look at her. She's so cute. She's like a baby making her first steps. Oh wow. Oh wow, wow, wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, how dangerous. What the fuck? Oh my god. What the heck? Is this for real? Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, she's okay. Thank God. Oh, <laughs> fucking hell yeah, run girl. Oh my God. His son, Katoa, may have the same genetic disorder. They've been best friends ever since. Oh, Katoa that's how they know. Ma that's how May knows Katoa. Oh my God. I don't think she was paid. What you want, Pampa? Pampa? He's got a gun you in Roma. his pants. Oh, Roma. There's some people in the station we need to find. Heard Roma's the man to talk to. She could die if he doesn't find her. This business. We got rations. God, I hate Roma. What a dickhead. Bars, ammunition. What I want is chicken. No chicken. Back of the line. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Hey, fucking hell, dude. Jesus. Oh, fucking hell. My God, he's literally bashing his fucking head in. The heck, man. Are you gonna help us? <laughs> I think he is now. Absolutely. Ah! I find little girl. Pro bono. Pro bono. Good. Thank you. <laughs> Amos gets the job done, eh? Damn. A lot of people living out in the slums, huh? Hey, but the technology is good for the slums. Maybe she could just hide out in a fuck the consequences that she'll have to face on Mars. I mean, Christian did say that like 70 or 80% of the Earth lives like this. Because there just are no jobs or something. Excuse me, do you know the fastest way to the ocean? <laughs> She's so cute, fucking hell. For 50 I do. 50 what? 50 dollars? Girl ain't got 50 dollars. My source inside the Martian Embassy just informed me that there's a lot of activity Cold in star. Sergeant Draper's quarters. Because she's no longer in there. <gasps> Rogue. Hell yeah. That is very interesting. <laughs> Why would you? She, she wants to find her now. I'm not sure, but I've learned not to look a gift horse in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you have to find her as quickly as possible. Dra Come on, Draper. You can access our full surveillance network. Draper. Find her face. And as quietly as possible. Escaped. The Martians will, of course, be trying to find her as well, but there is a severe disadvantage on the streets of our planet. Yeah, exactly. They know it Make well. Sure stopped frequently by the local authorities and checked for proper identification. She's so happy. Oh, are we no. information sharing with Eric no. right now? No, no. I'll tell him later. Don't. He's still dodgy well, in my books. He's more useful to me outside of a jail cell. Exactly. You're the only person that knows the truth about him. The only person anyone might actually believe, and that puts you in a precarious position. What is us right, but something changed with Aaron Wright and realized what he'd put into motion. Yep. And only miraculously avoided that it was time to make amends. I wasn't trying to be funny. <laughs> well, I wasn't laughing. It's, it's just. Uh... I'd forgotten how it felt to be fighting for the good guys again. <laughs> I like it. It's nice. <laughs> Kodas is funny. Oh, yeah. Fuck. I keep calling him Kodas for some reason. Excuse me. Could you please tell me how to get to the ocean? Will this man help her? Oh, my God. What the? Don't take it personally. It's 
clinic stopped giving Peter his meds two months ago. Oh. Makes him forget his manners <gasps> and his reality sometimes. Poor guy, jeez. Well, I can tell you how to get to the ocean. Oh, is she gonna trust him though? I don't have any script. You're Martian, aren't you? That obvious? Well, I've seen a few of you over the years, being how close we are to the UN. But that's not what tipped you. That's <laughs> the way you're walking. <laughs> like the sky <laughs> falling on you. Like the ground's gonna bite you. You'll have osteoex. Martians have osteo. Give me what you can spare and I'll tell you how to get to the ocean. Martian. You're a drug dealer. Of osteo. You're not gonna fly you to the moon. I know what osteoex is for. I can trade that and get a month's supply of meds for the kids who've been exposed to radiation from the drive plant. And I can probably get a month's supply of the new chloroquine. Oh. It'll save some of us from dying in the summer when we're forced to drink sewer water. Jesus, is that true? Oh my God. I don't know if I said it was. Uh, so you're a doctor? I put myself on the vocational training God. list when I was 17 years old. I'm 52 now. Fucking hell. Still waiting for my slot. Jesus, it's bleak. Isn't that terrible? But we still gotta take care of ourselves down here. I'm sorry. Molly, see the ocean. That's okay. Everything we've been told about Martians is probably garbage anyway. That you're all a bunch of robots with no souls who just like to conquer shit. <laughs> oh, and I hear you <clears> music <throat> nothing to write home about neither. <laughs> that part might be true, yeah. <laughs> Imagine, like, interplanet love. Go back the way you came until you see a drainage tunnel on your Why right. didn't he go with her? Got it. Just go with her. She might freak out. What's your name? Don't. Uh, Bobby. Nico. Nico. Interplanet love. Planted in line with your shoulders. Back straight, head down, staring at your toes. Then. Oh, he's so cute. He's so nice. Slowly, till your eyes are locked on the horizon. He, this is actually really good for like panic attacks too. Okay. <laughs> Brain will forge the pathways. Your inner ear will get the memo. And you'll be no different than an earther. Thank you. I think she should stick around here. Fuck going back to Mars, man. She's so cute. Oh, she's so cute. Miko or Nico? Nico helps Gunny. She's cute in the way that she's like, everything is so new to her and she's learning and taking it all in. That's cute. But yes, she is hot. You said you weren't a homicidal maniac. <laughs> I didn't kill him. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> He's just like, oh fuck. He's a bully. And where I come from, bullies take desperate young girls like your daughter and force them into prostitution. Yeah. They peddle them to Johns who get off on that. Fucking hell. They push them right back out on the streets even before they have a chance to heal. And those kids, they use them too. He doesn't sugarcoat anything, does he? Some people deserve to be punished. Oh, look at those stitches, man. On, uh, Praxis' head. They're using distilled water in the hydroponic supply instead of the proper mineral solution needed for long-term stability. Don't know what that means. What's the cascade? The cascade. In real nature, there's enough diversity to cushion an ecosystem when something catastrophic happens. Nothing that we build our shit. When real nature, what? Depth. Now, in an artificial ecosystem, when one thing goes wrong, there's only a certain amount of pathways that can compensate for it. When, when cascades. pathways get overstressed and then they fail, which leaves fewer pathways. Wrong water. And then, and Ganymede is a simple, complex system. Simple, complex. Because That's a simple, paradox. It's prone to cascades. And because it's complex, you can't predict what's going to break down next or how. The station's dead already. They just don't know it yet. That's fucking sad. What else do they have other than Ganymede? What's he up to? Cascade. That's what this episode's called. Oh wow, look at that. Oh, so fun. <laughs> no fly zone. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. They got a change their fucking tracks i find the little girl in the main they oh really the the on where the mirrors fall oh wow there they are what's down there how do i know hope you ain't lying bro <gasps> there's there she is oh she's at the ocean damn i love this music with this scene it's so peaceful she looks at peace she's gonna swim wow oh my gosh look at her i don't even she i don't think she can swim she's I don't think she has ever encountered an oasis before, but she definitely feels at peace and content. <gasps> there she- Oh my god, they found her! They found her! Hell yeah! Is it everything you thought it would be? <laughs> Your people are on their way, so we have to be quick. We never finished our conversation. It didn't feel like a conversation to me. The thing you saw on Ganymede, it was real. Thank you for 
Yeah. The letter. This is what I thank you for you and your team, giving her it? validation. She needed it. Oh wow. Project Ali Barn. A new type of weapon. It was being tested on Ganymede. Tested. By your own government. Mm. Fuck you, man. <gasps> so then I wish to God it was my government. Then I would have some control over the situation. But right now, all I have is you. <laughs> Damn, Connie. So you're telling me that me and my team, we were sacrificial lambs? And I don't believe a goddamn thing you were told to say in that room. Huh. I need to know who is doing this and why. I need your help. Jesus, this is getting really fucking good. This has to be a mind game. You are the enemy. We cannot afford to be enemies anymore. Project Calvin. Go. Now. I really want to read the book now after this episode. Holy shit. That's insane. Oh no, they found her. They found her. Okay, first and foremost, that ending was insane. Gunny cannot believe what she's hearing and I don't blame her. Who wants to hear that they were basically sacrificial lambs for a test? That they were, it's like, it's like North Korea doing tests, right? It's probably a, a really crazy um, comparison, but it is. It's like they don't really give a shit about their people. And if they want it to do a test, the people are just something very small that has to be given up in order for the test to have something to be tested on, basically. Fucking hell. Like, they were gaslighting her in the beginning because obviously they didn't want her to know that they were sacrificial lambs. Her whole team fucking died, dude. It's not something that they want to share with the rest of the world. I really want Gunny and Christian to actually work together. If Gunny can have some sort of way to communicate with Christian, that would be ideal because I feel like Christian would be a great, a much better supervisor or I guess Gunny would be a better protege for Christian than any other person that she has been working under, to be honest. But yeah, I really love this episode because I got to see more of Gunny and I really love that character. And she, she was just so cute when she was discovering how to walk and when she first discovered the ocean as well. I think she really really likes earth and she finally got to see how people are living in the slums man i think that and speaking to somebody like christian who was actually telling her the truth that truth hasn't fully set in with poor gunny it's a hard truth to accept but once she does accept that truth i really hope that they start to begin a conversation and communication together and hopefully work together to try and get some answers christian doesn't know what the fuck is going on fully but whatever it is is, she doesn't want it to go ahead because whatever diplomacy that they have with Mars and the belt and, and everybody else, that'll all go down to shit if Mars has a weapon, a mass weapon of destruction. I don't want to see that happen, but whoever that fucking guy's name was, Jules Pierre Mao, he's going to make sure it does happen. He's a rich dude and I doubt he cares about diplomacy. I doubt he cares about peace. I, I think he absolutely cares about his paycheck. And I don't doubt that Mars is uh, giving a whole lot of money to Jules. Um, I mean, he sacrificed his own daughter. Who's to say that he gives a shit about the rest of the world? I don't think he does. But yeah, I, I liked um, seeing Cotier as well. Cotier is a funny guy. I love scenes with Cotier and Christian. And yes, I got to learn about the Cascade too. I think Nico was probably one of Christian's men, to be honest, because Nico suddenly disappeared when Gunny opened her eyes back up again. <laughs> Captain Horsey, yeah, it was quite shocking to see Christian swear for the first, well, what I thought was the first time. She kind of just lost her shit and I thought it was hilarious and badass. I was like, hell yeah, you go girl. I don't know what Osteo X is. Something to help people get to the moon or something. Uh, I feel like I'll learn about that more later. So I'm just gonna read what I wrote about Cascade again. Real nature can compensate for trauma in the ecosystem, but artificial can't handle the stress. And that's what the Cascade is. And because Ganymede has a lot of artificial nature in it, it is set to collapse, which is what I think 
is going to happen. Ganymede was like the strongest source of food and water that the belt had and now they are starting to lose it. So that's going to become a huge problem, I imagine. And yes, of course, we did see that their plans to Jupiter will have to take a break because of the no-fly zone. Very scary stuff. They're going to have to change course and uh, we'll see what happens in the next episode in regards to that. Project Caliban as well finally got to see. I Actually, not finally. Finally, maybe they, maybe we saw it before, but I only noticed that it was called Project Caliban in this episode. So yeah, this episode was very, very interesting. Sure was nice of Chicken Boy to give us a skeleton key. Chicken Boy. Sure <laughs> you didn't even try to stop me from bashing that kid's head. <laughs> You've taught me a lot about futility. <laughs> I just beat you to it. I don't mind bashing some assholes, I mean. Yeah, he's hardened up a little, huh? What is in those backpacks? I don't know. In case, in case we don't find her, look, you haven't lost a child. Yes, I have. Oh, <gasps> my baby boy was taken from me. She has a baby boy. I tried, and I tried to find him, and I failed. What the hell? That's a revelation. It took me a long time to understand that it wasn't my fault. The uh, subtitles kind of what you're telling me now spoil stuff. To be fair, <laughs> I read it before she said it. This is not my time to stop. But I can't watch anything without subtitles because especially a show like this, it's so complicated. So proud need to write shit down. What happened to that girl who knew her duty? Her fire team got killed by a thing on Ganymede that wasn't wearing a back suit. <laughs> He's like this again. Why God damn. Tell me what really happened. All you need to do now is sit tight, keep your mouth shut. Fuck off and stop and gaslighting her, dickhead. Transport's on its way. It'll be here in a few hours. You make sure your bags are packed. No, stay with Christian. Dismissed. Dismissed? You lied to me about Ganymede. You've been lying to me this whole time. That's what's bothering you. Maybe just watch That's what you say. You. you might get killed next. You may have jeopardized the future of Mars. And that's supposed to justify. Grow up. Fuck Peace off. of mind is a luxury that no Martian can afford, especially not Martians. A Martians just need to take but some you chill won't have pills. To worry about that much longer. You won't be going back to parade, Bobby, because you don't follow orders, and a soldier follows orders. So what the fuck will she do? You're not a soldier anymore. Oh my god. Dismissed. Oh, she is fired, fired. Maybe she can apply for asylum on Earth. Abercross. Oh yeah, this thing is on its way to Jupiter, but they have to... Martian destroy undeclared. Martians, Martians are not... <gasps> They're staying right in our tail. Oh, uh, what? Let's give the Mickey something to talk about. Oh no. Oh, this ain't good. I wonder why they have seized. I wonder why there's a no-fly zone on, on Venus. He met giants in Patagonia, mate. I love this guy. Shot at waters, it's worth the risk. Aussie, bruh. You know what sailors used to say when their ships went past the end of their Oh, true, 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 true. That's where arrows crashed, of course. Here there be That's why. They don't want um, anyone to check out what's going on. I thought because it crashed, I guess there'd still be some evidence of it. And if we make an amnesty offer through her, she may be able to sell them on it. Larissa. When the Eris incident hearings are convened, they're going to make you the star of the show. What will that entail? Well, that makes sense. My good friend, Jules Piermel. If he's not here to pay for his crimes, they're going to take it out on me. Oh, right. What Fuck. did you tell them? Nothing. Aaron Wright will have to answer. You need to use these crimes. hearings to tell them everything. You'll get through this. It's nice of her to not have said anything. Yeah, I will. One way or another. She can still use him in the meantime. She's back at the ocean. I wonder what's going to happen to her now that she's been dismissed as a soldier. I'm gonna put her in like a psychiatric home or something. Sir, we just received an emergency flash from the UN. Apparently they got wind of an OPA blocked upon your transport. Traffic in or out of this airspace has been restricted until further notice. Who sent the notification? It came directly from Undersecretary Avicerella's office. Oh, hell yeah. Is that a fact? Hell yeah. <laughs> well, better safe than sorry. You can stare at the ocean a little longer. She has got herself some time. Rosinante behind the Jupiter moon. Fucking hell, can they get out of there? All right, sweetheart, show me the MCR in no-fly zone. <sighs> Fucking everywhere. All right, so <laughs> we'll go in, no one comes out. I bet the guys don't even know they're stranded down there. What are you gonna do, man? Very dangerous. 
silent running mode. Can't risk the broadcast gonna give up our location. I love God how he it, gotta get a message down to has these. I love these monologues that he has. I hate, I hate it's very helpful. I'm in mean, hot. That don't make you so gosh darn special. Um, can you show me the uh, Kara Coombs flight plan? Kara Coombs flight plan. It's a whole lot of cryptic. What's their landing pattern? Where the hell are they gonna dock? They're gonna land on Ganymede oh, Station? No. Wait. It smells like know. Black Ops to me. Probably here for the exact same reason we are. Shit, that means I gotta get down there before they do. <laughs> I love how he's talking to himself. Sorry. What does that mean, Black Ops? Sounds like Black Ops to me. Now show me the orbital pass of all the jovial moons. Jovial moons? Mm -hmm. What's that? Mm -hmm. The smart pilot, huh? Very strategic pilot. Well, no one said it was gonna be easy. I love how he talks to himself. I absolutely right, adore it. Jovian moons are Jupiter's moons. I want my daddy. Soon, honey, you'll see him soon. Why is he taking her? It's time for your medicine. I want to go home now. Oh. I don't want to play anymore. No, no. Oh, poor girl. Closer. It's a chrysalis. Oh my god. A butterfly will squeeze its way out of there soon. When I was a little boy. It kind of looked like the age. protomolecule. Blue I color. I saw one trying to get out, but it was having trouble. So I tried to help. I split open the casing. This guy's kind of creepy. And the butterfly too. came right out, but it couldn't fly. It was supposed to struggle. Squeezing its way out of that tight casing pushed fluid from its fat body into its wings. Talking to this girl with this weird analogy and he expects her to you understand. To one day? I'm scared. Well, let's play a game. She just said she don't want to play a game. There might also be magical things like you've never imagined. And we can learn very, the secrets very... of the universe. Nervous. I don't know what she has to. <gasps> what the fuck? What does she have to do with all of this? There's nothing to be afraid of. You just placate her. Have a think, Mary. Why she's important to him. All I know is that she's got some sort of health issue. The Martians have declared a no-fly zone over the station. They're much for a quiet ride out. I would say uh, maybe he's bad. trying to cure her somehow. Remember what that SG said before giving Fred Johnson new. This is May's medicine. Caterpillar calls the end of the world, the master calls a butterfly. Every day. True. Strickland's keeping her alive. We're on the right track. <laughs> what the fuck are you guys doing here, boys? We need it. This will buy us passage off this ice ball. Then go. So Strickland is a child predator? Okay, why is scary, the huh? girl that why is the lady that he's walking with like just accepting that then? Fucking weirdo. I hope she can just go into hiding on Earth. So I guess the two of you weren't that close, huh? Why would you say that? Because he didn't tell you the real story. Oh. There wasn't an accident? No, there was, but I was the one who fell. You know, I used to think he told that story to make me look good. Did he tell Gilbert that? is so dutiful. I want to know what really happened on Ganymede, and you're going to tell me. She has nothing really left to lose. We're done here. Oh, fuck! Oh my god. You're gonna... Firing squad for this. Oh, not if you die first, bitch. On us? The whole generation has forgotten what it means to Oh my the god. Fucking shut the fuck up, dude. Ma oh! <laughs> Hell yes, gun! Put the bloody password in, motherfucker. Yes! Talk, bitch! In an unrehearsed battlefield demonstration. Finally! Drone, you were watching. <gasps> he knew the whole time. We were a goddamn sales demo. What the fuck? It was for the good of Mars. Fucking dickhead. Finally, not. Oh, finally, he's not gaslighting her. Knocked him the fuck out. Run away. Run away, Queen. Please find Christian. Please find Christian. Please find Christian. Please find Christian. She's my favorite Martian. She's my favorite Martian. Christian's my favorite Eartha. Amos is my favorite fucking whatever the hell he is. <laughs> Miller was my favorite Belter, but he died. Amos is from Earth. Fuck, then I love two Earthers. Oh yeah, of course he's, he was talking about his home earlier. Of course he's from Earth. I do like Alex as well. I love how he talks to himself. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Run, 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 run. She's go <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, she's so fast. She's oh, she's running so fast in Earth's gravity. Oh, 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 oh my god! Ah! Fuck yes, 
I wanted her to I wanted her to get asylum on earth. She's so smart. Everyone has a right to asylum seeking, especially if their life is at risk like sh like hers. Holy shit, that was intense. That was amazing. I fucking love you, Gunny. Oh my lord. Come on, Al. Alex do be a very talented oh, God, pilot. They can't see us and we can't see them either. Dude, I love him so much. Let's say we uh <laughs> and it's not he's not talking to himself, he's talking to his ship. So it's not really a monologue, is it? <laughs> what the fuck are you looking at? <laughs> I fucking love Sergeant God. Draper. When I said I need your help, I didn't mean create a diplomatic incident. <laughs> you should have been more specific. It was a weapons test. Me and my team and your Marines too, we were caught in the middle. I took that off Captain Martins. He's in on it for sure. Yes. And I bet Minister Koshinov is too. Yes. Get it to sick and right away. We need to know what's on it as soon as possible. Yes, this is so good. This is so good. Are you up for a debriefing? We'll try to keep it short. <laughs> you don't have to call me sergeant, ma'am. I'm not a soldier anymore. Yes. Be agent. Dude, I love her so much. I love her so much. I love her so much. Jules Pierre Mao. Wow, wow, wow. This just keeps getting better and better. <laughs> Shoot them with the shooty end. Do you like pizza? <laughs> hey, Mr. Sarm, these people. And let's talk this out before things he's get looking, He's scouting the room for his daughter. <gasps> there's, Where's May? there's some evidence. <gasps> oh, oh, bitch. Shit. Escalated. God damn. Amos. Amos. Oh, fuck's sakes. Is he all right? Oh. Hold still. I'll fix you up. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I hope his daughter's okay. I'm very, very worried. How come I'm the one who always gets shot? <laughs> Prax really did fuck that one up. He should not have shot. What's he looking at? What's in there? We meet in person on a ship of my choosing. Outside, you in control. You will come with a limited escort. Damn. Don't refuse this offer. It won't be repeated. Oh my god. Why do you pretend that you care about my opinion? Indulge me. That's a fucking trap. Oh, you're so pretty. <laughs> and so are you. I like this dynamic. You've already made up your mind, haven't you? You're going to accept. Oh no. I already did. Oh, she now did. See? Oh my gosh. I have seriously. Did this music, every single tune accompanying scenes with Dr. Strickland is just creepy. And that's why I just I just get uneasy when I see Strickland with his daughter. Something bad is uh, oh my god, he, there's so many kids. What the fuck is going on? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What is he doing with the children? Oh my gosh, poor him. Oh, what the fuck? That kid looks dead for sure. Is that what is that is that what happens to his daughter? What the heck? Where is his poor daughter? I came here to destroy the proto molecule and that's what I'm gonna do. Is he gonna blow up that room? Oh shit. Well, uh, you know, all those kids are dead anyway. Oh wow, that's a very interesting way of blowing, blowing that up. Crematory. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh my gosh! Amos, man, he fucking acts fast! Who the hell just got blasted? Man, the amount of time Amos has saved everybody's lives, even when he just got shot, he is the man. He is the man, man. <laughs> he does. He didn't even care what was in that room. He's like, Bleh. <laughs> oh shit! Look at that proto molecule juice. What was that? Oh my god! Look at that. The grenade really did fuck them all up, huh? It looks like they were maybe shot before the grenade got to them. Or am I wrong? This is anesthetic gas. Anesthetic gas? Something tore the shit out of this airlock. Yeah, I figured it wasn't just the grenade that made all of that noise. Oh, fucking good. I hate this bitch. Now, take it for questioning. What are you doing with the proto molecule? Where's Strickland? Oh, really? Answer me. Tell us now, bitch. Please. Tell. Like you held that kid in the incinerator? Now. Or anyone on Eros? Evil bitch. You expect us to help you? What was it? The grenade released something. Released a gas. Say it. Don't die before you say it. We made a protomolecule. What? They made it. To do what we wanted. We made 
We made it in our own image a lot more. Where she, where she came from. What the fuck? So she made the proto model could do what they wanted. There's a lot more where she came from. Damn, that's an intense. Jesus Christ. Oh, it's Alex. That's me, brother. Alex, I kiss you in the mouth now. <laughs> How come you're always the one getting shot? <laughs> Exactly. How did you find exactly. This? MCRM, they set up a no fly, but they cleared a black op ship looking for the exact same thing that we are. So then the Rossi and I, we, we. We? Yeah, the Rossi. Talking to the ship. Anyways, uh, <laughs> we decided to come on down and rescue y'all. Hell yeah, go Alex. <laughs> the ship is literally his best friend, isn't it? Get out the auto docks, make sure no one's infected. Grenade. Alex? Stand by, we're gonna suit up and come Police. Out. Roger that. Take gas, maybe? I'm not going with you. I'm going back to make sure the somnambulist is up and running. And I'm going to help Melissa get as many people off this station as we can before it dies. If we don't catch that thing out there, a lot more people will yeah. die. People die every day. Oh. I wanted to believe we could stop this. I don't think she has faith. We can't. Oh, damn. She's lost hope. So it wasn't a gas. It just freed something. Go with them. No, I'm going with you where they part ways. I wonder if we'll get to see Naomi's story now that she's parting ways with um with Jim. She looks very sad and conflicted about it too. She and Amos are going, okay, so then I'm sure we'll see what they get up to. What is that? Oh my god. Oh shit. It's that same it's that same being that uh attacked. Oh my gosh they're going on a hunt for it. That's really dangerous. That's going to be really dangerous. Were you screaming in your sleep last night? Oh, is that his son? You never really get a chance anymore to just talk, you know? Just hang out. He's worried about what's going to happen yeah. to him. His son looks well off. You that I was sorry that I had to leave your mother. Hmm. But there's only one thing that I need to tell you. And it's, it's the simplest thing, but it's the hardest thing to remember. What? It's in your heart. <laughs> That's funny. No matter what some funny oh, advice coming from him. Never thought he had it in him to have a heart-to-heart. -heart. When the European tall ships first arrived in the American continent, the natives couldn't see them. Oh, the he's talking... So completely outside of their experience. He's talking a long time ago. They just couldn't compute. A long, long time ago. So didn't see. Those natives all got wiped out in the end, didn't they? That's on colonialism. It's such a base human instinct to destroy things we don't understand. Don't talk down to me, plant guy. <laughs> <laughs> you understand plenty. What you keep referring to as a thing could have been my child. Yeah, that's true. Alex, give me the skulls. I mean, child with a we don't know at this point. Terrified and tortured, unable to comprehend what happened to him. Honestly, Shit. it's not your kid. If if you're right, it's not your kid anymore. Why are we stopping? There's a patrol flying overhead. Probably. Actually, no. If we keep moving on ACS, they're going to send us a high oh. explosive welcome package. And then this it uh, it, it would have been just like Julie right now. now. Oh, shit. His hearing. Jefferson and Jordy, they don't deserve this. You'll be strong for them. You keep this. You give it to Jefferson if I can. And you tell him that this medal was given to the father. He knows. No matter what he hears about me. You were instrumental in bringing Sergeant Draper to our side. She's given us critical yeah, true. information on the Martian. Maybe they'll be lenient. All of that will go in your favor. History's She's so the nice. Isn't it? I promised fire from the Despite gods. the betrayal. And I delivered smoke. She was Pierre Mao lied to you. And now I'm trying to decide if he's lying to me. He's demanded a face-to-face -face meeting at the location of his choosing. We have to hear him out. If he's in bed with the Martians... He holds all the cards here. I really like... I really oh, like this side of... No. He won't Aaron speak Ryan. to you, Sadabir. You honestly believe that Mars would use this proto-molecule to destroy Earth? Yes, I do. Oh, wow. And I couldn't persuade Jules of that, but I know that you can. Shit. I guess Mars wants to destroy Earth because they're paranoid that Earth will destroy them. Ava Sarala is my goals. When I grow up, I want to be just like her. <laughs> she's just like, even after Erin Wright's betrayal, she's still nice, you know? Your panel shot to shit, thanks to you. <laughs> it's being taken care of. She don't trust him. Hey, station power's failing. There's no time for this shit. Move. <laughs> it's gone over to the other side. I like her more for it. Martians are untrustworthy. Alex is okay, though. I was told I to the secretary to you. <laughs> the old lady. Or just madam. How rude. You're with us because you betrayed your oath. <laughs> is that a habit for you? 
I have never crossed anyone first. Yeah. Burn me in mine and I'll go through you like a door. Oof. All right then. He's impressed. He's like, ooh. Let's go. <laughs> we will be departing momentarily. Oh. These are her escorts. I swear, every scene she's wearing something different. When is the last time you left Earth? None of your goddamn miss. <laughs> she's not. Also, when you mysteriously vanish, <laughs> no one will ever find your body. <laughs> no one will ever find your you body. The Martian delegation is still on Earth. And as long as they are here, you're a bargaining chip. So now I've yeah. taken you. I see I'm your property. I am not a fragile flower. <laughs> Which is also why you're here. Any shit hits the fan out here. I expect you two to get me out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Going all the way into space. Oh, poor Christian. <laughs> Gunny's enjoying this. Say something to distract me. I don't like this all set up. Neither do I. I'm suddenly so eager to come in from the cold. It reeks. Actually, be quiet. <laughs> I'm glad Connie's finding this entertaining. She she deserves a laugh. Oh, Savadier. Savadier is real worried. Jody must be his wife or ex-wife, because he said he had to leave Jefferson's mother. The hell is he gonna commit suicide? Gonna commit suicide to preserve his honor? And I'm feeling nervous. Keep going. All right, you want to talk about this for a second? Not really. <laughs> he has to listen. He's the uh, cabin. Jesus. Wow. It's not the proto molecule. It's protogen and men like you. Damn it, we lost it. Oh. We cannot maneuver here. Do it. Damn, I'm glad Naomi's not here to see this. Are you refusing to fly? Sheesh. No, sir. That's what I thought. I like this lady. She reminds me of Celine Dion for some reason. How are we gonna find another ship? Damn. We're getting on oh my god! Fucking hell, Amos! Oh my god! Ooh. Get them under control if you know what's good for you. People are getting scared, which means they'll start getting ugly. Mm-hmm. Doing alright? He's like literally punched with his arm that he just got her shot at. How much air do we have? Not counting us five, enough for about 52 people. I love how they talk about this kind of shit, because this is like there. legitimate space faster. problems that you have to think about. We're taking 50 on a ship that fits 300. They'll tear each other apart. And how much air each person has to survive. To when our ship comes back, we transfer the overflow to the Rosinante. And when your ship doesn't come back, yeah, what about that? Slow with a couple hundred people. Look at every face and decide who gets to live. You think they're gonna let you do that? We're not fucking leaving those people here. She has a point. They're not gonna just accept the fact that some of them have to be left behind. It's unfortunate we had to grin through those photo ops tonight, pretending we'd signed a peace agreement. But that's off the table until we have <laughs> our wayward marine back. Well then, let's talk solutions. They want Gunny back. Fat fucking chance, bro. How many times have we worn our masks with each other? Becomes the habit. What do you say we break that habit? Great. Just had a new liver installed. <laughs> we'll break it in. Well, sir, you're in luck. Scottish gold. It's 107 years old. Found in a ship Damn. off Scapa Flow. Fancy. But as for the proto molecule, now shit's getting serious. Sergeant Draper was witness to a game changing technology, and there can't be peace if one of us has it and not the other. Mm hmm. I'm truly sorry one of us has to lose. Oh, don't worry about me. God damn it. Think about our people about to blow each other up over Ganymede. And it won't end there. Yeah. Let's not let the next war become our last war. It's like uh, having nuclear weapons, you know? It's exactly like that. You know, we don't know that for sure. Yeah, we do. Oh, yeah. Ganymede is their fake war to cover it up. Yeah, he's a Martian, so he's clearly, uh, Holden's clearly taking out some frustration and anger out on him. She'll fly. Fucking hell, these are some hard decisions to face up to. Oh my god. Oh my god. He killed him. So it wasn't for it wasn't for Savadir. What the fuck? Savadir, I didn't take him as a murderer. Holy shit. No Piotr. What? He drank it too? It was 186 minutes ago. Whoa. We spent billions. What the hell? What a dick. A simple enzyme to debilitate soldiers taking drugs. 
the gravity sickness. This enzyme could be genetically tailored for one recipient, absorbed instantly through the skin without a trace, cardiac arrest, an act of God. Huh. I mean, this stuff was staggeringly effective, but then they banned it under the Brussels what? Act. What? He's yeah. making his death look Here like an accident. You give a monkey a stick, inevitably he'll beat another monkey to death with it. Far out. I was just starting to like this guy. He's an evil motherfucker. You were right. Huh. One of us has to lose. Wow. Wow. I did not expect that. Oh shit, he's dead. He's dead. Target identified. Oh, he jumped there. He can kill the man. Oh, this is, uh, this... This, this is his act. <laughs> Get a medic! Oh, <laughs> Good actor, isn't he? Dickhead. Best time you never see me coming, sister. <laughs> I'm running ops here. I see some. Understood? I see oh, some. Oh, well, cowgirl, consider yourself a diplomatic observer. Chemistry this between this two. You served. Second. Second. Back in the day. Welcome aboard the Gwenchen. Thank you, Captain. My aides. Ju Julie Pierre Mao's ship. Oh, fancy music being it's played. A beautiful ship. Do you like cucumbers? Oh, she will have some. I was going to ask you where you got those lovely couches. There he is. Madam Under Secretary, I appreciate you coming. Just get to the fucking point. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, fucking hell. She's so good. It's gone. Really? You mean it veered off or went stealth? No, I mean it, it went dead, V, but it's all... Raccoonhead's off the radar. I think someone blew it up. Oh my. It's so wild out here. <gasps> whoa, whoa, whoa. What was that? Something fell out of orbit. Something big. Oh my gosh. Maybe all these people die in the end anyway. He's being, he's being fucking suffocated. There's nothing we can do. That was the ship that Aaron Wright had killed. He's a monk. I chose to work with Earth first. And selling yourself to Mars was the remedy for a lover squirrel. <laughs> Earth may be granted access to the proto-molecule. Same as Mars. Mars and Earth will maintain peace through balance, which you prefer to call mutually assured destruction. <laughs> In the middle, benefiting from both. Somehow loyal to both. Yeah. It's that simple. How does that work? Thought. How does that work, huh? When parents fight, a child has a crisis of loyalty. You've got that backwards, madame. Earth and Mars are the children here, oh. screaming for their trinkets. And Why he's the father. Is there an urgent type beam from Secretary Ironwright? It's for you, sir. And the Undersecretary. Put it up. Now she's going to find out. Gunny's going to find out, too. Private Martian Defense Minister Kurshinov suffered a fatal heart attack earlier. Kurshinov. And I can give the same order to end your life where you breathe, the same coordinates I'm sending this Oh, my. Message. You led him right to you me. Don't be an idiot. Thought. I can assure you, I'm the only friend you have left. Oh, shh. Test my resolve on this. Oh, shh. Christian, if you're listening. Oh, my gosh. You taught me. You drilled it into my head. That Earth must come first, <gasps> and now you've thrown She's me to angry the at her. for fulfilling my sacred oath. While you grovel, oh shit, at the this is bad. This is bad. And Jules Pierre Mao, and that is the real betrayal here. You will clean up the mess you made for me. You will return to Earth alone. You will await my instructions. This is fucking shocking. And you will get the fuck back to work. <laughs> Earth wants that proto molecule for themselves. Well, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. A showdown! Aaron Wright, you son of a motherfucking bitch! Oh, I don't like to see Christian so vulnerable. Those people will kill you. Let go of me! He ain't wrong. Oh. <gasps> oh my! Why did he. <gasps> what the fuck? What the hell? What, she... Did she just put him to sleep? Oh my god. What is she doing? What is she doing? Don't be an idiot, Naomi. These people are fucking angry. Oh no. Oh my gosh. What is she doing? Oh. Oh. Oh, oh don't hurt her. What? I was on the last ship of Ferris. I didn't do enough. What? Ship is lost from the inside. Don't tell me she's gonna die. Fifty two of us can go. There will be children, young women, and young Shit. men getting on. See? They listened. Children, go. Oh. I have my turn. 
This is so hard. This is very, very difficult. I'm sorry, sister. God. No? What? Uh, her? You're not finished yet. Oh my god! It's always the poor belters that have to suffer, man. It's so sad. And our family needs our help right now. I love the way Alex talks. <laughs> our family really needs our help right now. Return to port or you will be fired upon. This is really, really, really sad because this shit um is reality for a lot of people we cannot comply this is reality for a lot of people out here in this world too i honestly i thought that was it for naomi meanwhile amos is still tranquilized oh fucking hell oh my god oh my god i hope oh, oh fuck it <laughs> made it made it you're a son of a bitch <laughs> this is the warship Rasanante. You're aware of our capabilities more than anyone. Warship. We're a vessel of refugees away from your AO. Any ship that opens fire on us will feel the sum total of our state of the art motion Ooh. arsenal rammed up its ass. <laughs> we'll all die together. Jesus. This is our only and final warning. Stay clear. Damn. He really needs. He really you know, knows how to turn it on when he needs today. to, you know? Oh, wow, they made it. 50, they, they saved 52 people's lives. Young, young'uns, children, you know, children. We did good today. Women and some young men too. Oh shit, is that open? I'm gonna talk about episode 11 very quickly because I actually realized that I didn't talk about episode 11 after it uh, finished airing and because I was eating lunch. Biggest revelation, I think, was that Naomi had a son and then also the fact that Gunny asked for political asylum. Hugest thing in that episode. Yeah, th those were the two biggest what the fucks that happened in episode 11. And then also, Prax shooting way too early. <laughs> Prax shooting way too early and uh, fucking up that whole thing. And then the grenade. Yeah, that was a wild episode. I had no idea that Naomi was a mother. Honestly, she doesn't seem like a mother, but clearly I was wrong. <laughs> she seems like a warrior fighter woman. I never saw her having the time to be a mother, but I suppose after she lost her son, she had no choice but to put all of her focus and her energy and her time into a greater cause. Yeah, the one thing that confused me was what the grenade released when Amos chucked it in the other room. I'm not actually sure what it released. Please do not tell me what was released when he threw the grenade, but it was very curious because whatever it was, it attacked those scientists. It was a good thing, mind you, it was a very, very good thing that that happened because those scientists were evil. But at the same time, I wish uh, at least one of them stuck around so that they could get some more answers. I feel so bad for poor Prax, who just really wants to know what the fuck is going on with his with this kid. Seeing those, actually, yeah. He saw, he saw the kids um, in the 11th episode. So at this point, he's very, very worried and anxious that the same fate was met for his child. And I don't blame him. But one of the best things that came out of episode 11 was the political asylum that Gunny asked for um, staying on Earth and the fact that Christian came to her and, and now they're kind of working together. That was definitely my favorite part. Christian and Gunny are my favorite characters. I'd say. And so having them have more scenes together. Koji is really awesome too. Having them have more scenes together. I'm absolutely loving. They're two very smart and capable, strong women and their screen time together is perfect. I can see that their relationship has a lot of development and a lot of things to go through before it's going to be a good one. <laughs> Obviously, they don't trust each other as much. Maybe I don't think Christian trusts anyone, to be fair. But yeah, Gunny definitely doesn't trust anyone at this point and I don't blame her after everything that has happened. Yeah, so what's happening around the jovial moons right now is that the MCRN operating some kind of black ops mission, so a secret mission. And I think in episode 
12, they got close to, oh yeah, they freed all of the, the refugees. So I'm kind of getting, sorry, I'm, if I'm like stumbling, it's because I'm kind of getting confused with episode 12 and 11 because I just watched them both and I didn't do my, my episode 11 summary when I should have. Um, so I suppose I can't really talk about it too much, but yes, I will talk about episode 12 now. Honestly, I didn't write too many notes for episode 12 because it was hard for me to focus on making notes, to be honest. But yeah, the biggest and craziest thing was Aaron Wright, man. You start to feel sorry for him in the beginning of the episode because he starts to, for the first time, be kind of humanized because of that talk that he had with his son, Jefferson. And then, of course, writing a letter to Jody, who I don't know if it's his daughter or his estranged wife. Yeah, so he, he really starts to be humanized and you start to feel sorry for him. And then he sees an opportunity when Christian goes to meet up with Mr. Mao and he ends up killing the Martian dude. He kills him, makes it look like a fucking accident. And then he essentially threatens Christian and he threatens Mao. That was such a plot twist. I didn't see that coming. I really thought maybe he would just kill himself because he felt so dishonored and he didn't want to face up to all of that. That would have been believable, to be honest with you. But yeah, that was insane. What hit me so hard was not being able to save all of the refugees. The thing is, like, because I come from a refugee background, seeing scenes like that just really get to me. I honestly and truly, my whole heart goes out to those belters. You know, great acting on everybody's behalf on that scene was just so heartbreaking. And, um, you know, the fact that they had to decide who gets to live and who gets to die, that's an incredibly tough thing. And it's not something anyone should really have to go through, but they did it in the most efficient and smartest way I guess you can say possible it was it was heartbreaking I was really trying so hard not to cry and to continue to cry but yeah great episode I am excited to watch the very last episode of season two with you guys right now I like how the big guy let Naomi leave in his place yeah me too I didn't expect that but it was a very, very noble and kind thing to do as well. I really did think that was gonna be the end of Naomi and that's why I was like crying so hard as well. It was terribly worrying, especially because, you know, she just revealed that she had a son and then she and Holden started to get really close. I was like, holy shit, is this really the end of Naomi? Yeah, but I'm glad it's not because she's a great character. She has a lot of heart. She has a lot of empathy. And I'm really glad that she's going to be sticking around for further seasons. Don't know how long for, but I'm glad either way. Holy shit. Shit's going down. Someone, anyone, protect Christian Ava Sarala. That's the most important thing. Well, that's disappointing. <laughs> Shit's going down, man. This episode's going to be huge. Yeah, um, they have a lot to talk about. <laughs> that was such a weird hug. <laughs> it was like, so like... You saved us. Rehearsed? I don't know. I don't deserve credit for that. This does not sound like the man I walked away from on Ganymede. understand why you did. It won't happen again. <laughs> maybe, maybe. It's nice to have you back. It's nice that he calls him... That she calls him Jim now, rather than Holden. If you were a fern, I'd say you had oh, to yeah. fit a lot of chlorophyll. Damn, he's got Sorry, a good right, body. Do you think that used to be a kid? I think so. Yeah, I it uh, was a kid. To the aid convoy that the Sinabels are heading for, and uh, now it a... looks like they're going to be doing a little uh, breaking maneuvers. Two of them will link up a bit sooner, so the Sinabels are going to get there with air to spare. Oh. Kind of a lineup. <laughs> What the fuck is that? Whoa. Oh yeah, that's the... That's the fucking proto-molecule weapon. That's the thing we were chasing. How's it there? Fucking hell, it looks like a... Looks like a fucking zombie. This time we don't have a choice. We have to kill it. Is that even possible? I'm gonna go down there, I'm gonna talk. No, you're not. We're gonna shoot it. I feel bad for Prax. If that doesn't kill it, we're gonna force it out the way it came in. Is there a plan B? Yeah. Make sure plan A works. <laughs> Make sure plan A works. Perfect. Prax is just afraid because he thinks if his daughter has turned into one of those things, the same thing will happen to her. Hey, it's right flank, I'll go fuck, left. Man. It's Instead pretty big. Right it's step pretty step tall. Right oh my god. Of course they'd use innocent children. Looks like it's scratching itself. There's something wrong with it, maybe. Fail safe regulator. It has some kind of tech implanted in its chest. 
the hell? What the? What is it? <gasps> oh! What the fuck was that? There's, there's a, there was a bomb inside it. Oh my gosh. It's not, e it's not even hurting it. It's just like kind of pushing it back. Oh my god, it does not like that. Oh shit! Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. What the hell? Amos, Amos, help, help, help! Oh shit! Okay, just, just, just focus on the fucking monster bitch. Oh sh! Just focus, focus. Oh. Shit! Oh my gosh, he's alone with that thing now. Oh my god, it's climbing the ladders. It's climbing the goddamn ladders. Oh shit, he's like cornered, man. Crazy effects on it. Is it CG? But why? Maybe it no longer considers you a threat. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Some animal control module, my ass. That's <laughs> an incendiary device. You understand? A bomb probably designed to destroy that thing in case it got out of control. Love right. the way he talks, man. You know, we're clearly, it's intelligent. Oh, is that why you didn't? We can speculate about its intelligence after we get it out of this ship. Yeah, guys. Sure. Oh my god. He's sticking into the bulkhead. What? Is why? What is he doing? Shit. The proton molecule feeds <gasps> on radiation. Oh. That thing's trying to get to the reactor. Oh, that's not good. We're more or less fucked. Oh shit! Somebody kill this thing. The thing is, if they push it out and it just floats around in space, it can survive. So eventually, it'll land on something and kill whatever's on that planet. I found a way out. Hell yeah. Crawl on the other side of that wall. That is not going to work. Why? You'd never make that climb. <laughs> not because I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> she always talks about <laughs> Christian's oldness. <laughs> Leaving you to your power armor is in this gift. Why would you bring it? Just in case. Get it. I'm come save her asses. Yes, Scotty. They've got the best girl on the job, man. She is is a soldier through and through, even if she doesn't have the title anymore. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! Oh, oh wow, oh wow, look at her go. Oh really? Like we can trust you. We better do something quick, cause Captain's leg is crushed. Mm -hmm. We need to run a marathon. <laughs> no, but you crush enough muscle and start leaking potassium into your blood. Your suit can only filter out so much of that, then your heart stops. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you know a lot about how people die. <laughs> Guess I do. And you promise you're not a homicidal maniac? The pressure in his suit went way up and he started losing air out of his relief valve. Jesus. Well, that's a happy story, but what's your point? <laughs> The Rossi's built for what? 20, 30 people? So we seal off engineering, the reactor deck, and the machine shop. We overpressurize them all. We pop the hatch to the cargo bay. It'll blow that big door right off along with that thing. That kind of pressure change will rip him apart. Yeah. Maybe not. You gotta do it. No! Aomi hey, doesn't want to risk it. Way. That's an order. Sheesh. Arrow's crater's still knocking about. Right in the middle of the crater. Oh, the other guy, he's back. Of those pulses is the same as what was recorded on Eros. There's no doubt about it. That crater is active. Eros crater active. About what I did to you on Ganymede. I'm sorry. He's hurt sorry. by that. You said that you needed to do something, and I didn't listen. Oh, true. You made you put me down. It couldn't have been easy for you. Oh, some empathy. It's just I've been trying to make choices on my own lately, and I can't seem to make the right ones. Oh, Amos. This one's always right. Amos, darling. Oh, what a sweetheart. Sorry I hurt you. I'm glad they're having this talk. Amos really loves Naomi. When and vice versa. When you survive this, you were lying. Yeah. Do not blow the hatch until I tell you to. Sparing her feelings. Amos is a snack. Fucking hell. Meanwhile, this dude this is getting to, get getting to the, to the reactor. Hero G, fucking hell. Oh, that, that works. Seems a bit confused there. It's working. It stopped digging. Oh my gosh, Amos is struggling. Sorry, Holden is struggling though. Now it's gonna go to Holden. Oh shit, there's the gun. There's a the gun. Come on, if only he can get to the gun. Oh, good thing that there's zero G. Come on, 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 come on. Holden, this can't be the end of you. This can't be the end. You're the captain. 
You can do this. On. Back for like oh. Oh, come on. Come on. Some more time. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Come on. Oh, Holden, Holden. Hell no. Enough of that. Sorry, Haas. Powering up. Oh. <gasps> oh. Okay. Oh, uh, it's back onto the reactor. Oh, for God's sakes. They had to try. At, oh my God. Oh my. At zero G's, monster doesn't need reactor. <laughs> Come on. You got this girl. You got this. Yes. What a quick save. Oh, she. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, wow. Plan B. Hello. It's me, Gunny. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I'll take that. Loot, loot, Magoo. Now she can help. What? She can save her bullets for a, for a big boss. Bio locks. Oh, so that's why she couldn't use them. It's pointless to even hold them. I feel so bad for Jim. I need to talk to you, please. We'll talk after. No, oh, no. he doesn't think he's gonna make it. It's okay. He doesn't think thinks he's gonna die. I've been on the other side of this conversation, and if the next few minutes is all we get, we should take it. If this is my time, don't be an idiot like I was. Oh, he's experienced this don't with go that girl. For revenge. If I die here, let me go. Season one, episode one. Remember? Fucking hell. Are you saying you regret it? Everything we've done since the Canterbury. Remember the cant? Yes, but only because I don't get to spend more time with you. Oh, fuck off, guys. Don't make me cry again. Don't talk to me. Not until I've fixed this. <sighs> God damn. Tell him I need calm access. Sorry, <sighs> you cannot go into shock. Tell him I need calm access. <laughs> <laughs> it's one way to make sure that he doesn't go into shock. Leave the undersecretary and you can go. Will he do it? He's sworn to protect her. Say that again. We have Mao's little racing ship and another shuttle dock. Hand over Avicerella for us to keep safe. Keep safe? If you and the marsh, you can take it and go. Huh. <laughs> Dickhead. Not gonna do it. Tell him you need assurance of my safety. I take the Martian and you let us walk out. Keep safe. I need to keep control of the undersecretary, not you. I see where that guy is coming from. We exchange hostages, so I know you won't shoot us down after we launch. <laughs> this is a pleasure yacht, not a gunship, but I'll score you to the hangar myself. Give me the gun. Oof. Oof. Oh, shit. He's considering it. I'm gonna give her up. Come on, Martian. Don't stop, stop. Don't come, come on, gun. If I take my thumb off this button, it'll put the airlock in full lockdown. Never get out of here. <laughs> if you kill me, you're trapped. But uh, he'll be trapped too. Better not to bark. Better, hey, better not barking though. Naomi said that the creature gets energy from radiation, right? Yeah. First time we found the proto molecule was wrapped around a reactor core. So what? Following a nutrient gradient. Following a nutrient like gradient. Going toward <laughs> roots toward water right. we can change the gradient if we give it a better food source that's easier to reach we won't have Ooh. to force it out better food Lure source out. better food source this ship has torpedoes armed with nuclear warheads doesn't Lure it? Yeah. it out that's a good idea pax yeah hell yeah see pax is pax is good to have around <laughs> botany for the win exactly not there's nothing to keep you from beating me to death <laughs> you're right about that too <laughs> So where do we go from here? Ask yourself, is he worth it? The man you serve here. Mao. I'm an electrician. You're about to lay down your life for an unworthy master. Mm. It's not an honorable death, no matter what they tell you. Exactly. So if I let you in, you'll let me go? Scout's honor. You have my word. Scout's honor. Hell yeah. Uh-oh. Um, do you think that you could throw me in one of those cargo lockers and rough me up a little, just so they don't think? Uh, oh, he's so sweet. He's so cute. <laughs> creature will go after it. That creature, I'd love a name for it. Not literally, but eventually. You're always trying to do the right thing. So. It's a nice heart to heart. I mean, you're always trying to be a good man. Not everybody does. Thank you. Amos is really sweet. It's nice not having to worry about being on the right team. When he wants to be. Oh, he's like, 
<laughs> He's like, uh Standing by to shut down the drive on your mark. Your son. I failed my job on sure Paul died. I owe him, not you. But he's dead. I'm paying him back by keeping his mother safe. If I have any value as a prisoner, I may use it to save your life. That's a bad bet. I won't let you make it. Oh, good. I don't say to you. This is Christian <gasps> Hold your fire. I'm coming out. Oh, no. Oh, hold your fire. Don't fucking shoot, bro. Oh, shit. Come on. The girl. Where is Gunny? Clean up the mess. I understand. Clean up the mess. I'll take care of it. <gasps> it's nothing personal. I guess mom made up his mind. Oh. I'm so sorry. Oh my god, I really fucking hope nothing happens to Christian. If if it does, I'm fucking rioting. I'm quitting this show. I don't give a shit. Forehead is open. Oh, he knows straight away. Guys, it's working. When I give the word, you call the call. Now. Oh shit. Now. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, come on. Come on, monster. Yes, it's coming. It's working. Oh, wow. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, they gotta be fast. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's like, it's so thirsty for it, man. What are they gonna do? Can they just kill it? Don't let it go. Don't let it, like, fucking walk around in space. Oh, my gosh. It's not your daughter. Get it out of your head. It's not your daughter. Don't do anything stupid, Prax. What the fuck are you doing, bro? Are you joking? You idiot. Get it. Get it out of. Get it out of his hands. Is he joking? Oh my god. What the fuck? Oh shit. That was so close. Oh my gosh. Move. Run. Oh, look at the look at the relief on his face. He's like, oh for fuck's sakes. <laughs> Firing up the barbecue. Firing the hole. Oh hell yeah. Get fucked, mate. Get wrecked. Get fucking wrecked, son. Get wrecked. Yes. Well done. Well done. Damn. What happened to all of their uh screens? Everything's offline? What just happened? I feel like the gravity changed. You've stopped. That's impossible. Completely stopped? Ow. Oh my gosh. Oh shit. The proto molecules getting inside their ship. We stripped it right down to its nuclear. Oh! Sorry, Hoss. It's got hurt. Why does it call him Hoss, by the way? It was his idea. This is one steely eyed man of science, our plant guy. <laughs> she deserves to be a part of the team. Thank you. I think. Well, I didn't have to kill you, brother. <laughs> Me too. Aw. <laughs> so. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Boss is a southern US thing. Oh, okay. Spend a lot more time in this room than I'd like. Oh, body of boss. Cool. Cowboy term. Never heard of it until now. I have something I need to say to you. I love you. How bad could it be? She gonna leave him? We said no more secrets, <clears throat> but I've still got one. She's got a son. She's gonna say. We'll be all right. She's gonna say. The proto molecule has changed everything. Oh, okay. I don't ever remember a time when Earth, Mars, and the Belt weren't fighting. Oh. Sides change sometimes. We think we're fighting for. Oh, wow. Who we tell ourselves are the good Oh people. my gosh. Hell yes, Gunny. We can't ever stop fighting war after war. Oh, fudge. Ugly part. <gasps> Yes, work. she's so proud. Look at that proud face. Technology certainly hasn't changed it. Whew. No oh my gosh. Wants or what it's doing. Is that that shit? They are using it anyway. That stopped randomly? Oh yeah, it is. It's already scared too far to ever be Oh free. my oh god. god, they are dead, dead. It's part of the equation now. Oh no. And it will be from now on. Shit, they've been spaced. They really shouldn't have gone down there. Jesus. We can't wish it away. It's just a part of their society Earth now. Earth has it. Mars has it. The belt needs it now. And the belt needs yes, it. Yes! They need it! I didn't destroy our sample. I never sent our torpedo into the sun. I couldn't do it. What? She actually kept it? I was sure we were all going to die there. Shit, oh shit, oh shit. And that our sample would be lost. This is going to... What did you do? This is going to be bad for their relationship, that's for sure. I gave the promo. Oh my god. Oh no. 
But to be fair, like if Earth and Mars have it, if Earth and Mars have it, then the belt having it just evens out the playing field, you know? Nobody should have it. Nobody. But if two people have it, then the, the then three people have it. Three people should have. Oh shit, this is what's happening to May. Is this back into the past? Sweet dreams. Oh fuck, he's killed her. He's whistling as well. He doesn't give a shit. Oh my god, she has become one of those things. Oh, that's sad. So we finished season two today. Huge, huge stuff. Go ahead and follow my Twitch because we are going to be continuing on with The Expanse next week. Same time, same day. Starting season three, episode one. Don't know how many episodes I'll get through. Probably like three or four or something like that. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited to start it because we found out so much freaking shit in this season. And this season was so much better than the first season this is my favorite season so far i mean that i've only seen two two seasons so it it was bound to happen that season two would be my favorite i think it concluded both book one and both book two in the one season so it definitely heightened the drama and it was absolutely crazy that last scene with gunny <laughs> she was in that fucking suit and she just was like soldier mode activated it was so badass and christian's face was so proud she was like a proud mum, or yeah like it, it was just beautiful and i'm so excited to see that dynamic blossom and develop on screen in the future seasons i think that those three make a very interesting dynamic and i love to witness them on screen together very interesting to see that the monster like its source of nutrients is the radiation and i'm glad that they use that piece of information to their advantage well actually it was may's dad it was his idea and he is proving to be a very very valuable asset in the team of the rosinanti peeps so i do hope we get to see him in the next season and Prax yes Prax I was gonna say Drax for a second but then I was like no Drax is from Guardians of the Galaxy that's it's definitely not Drax I'm getting it mixed up so I just said Prax hoping that that was it yeah I mean it's terrible that Naomi lied you know but she has a very very good point it's getting a lot bigger than bigger than them bigger than what they can really handle and if it comes down to it like the Belters can't just be the only one without the proto molecule it's not safe it's like it's for example if every single country had a nuclear bomb and australia was the only country that didn't have one but everybody else had one it just wouldn't make sense no one should have it to start with but if they do have it if even one person has it it's just not safe for the rest for the rest of the system to just not have it there needs to be a balance otherwise the power dynamic is just it's it's too crazy that's the only word that comes to mind in my head right now because what that means is that every other like say if earth was the only one that had it mars would always be paranoid mars would always be on high alert and so so would the belters really and that tension would just cause future wars and whatnot so having the playing field being equal is the best thing i think that can come from this proto molecule getting out of hand really if christian died in that scene honestly i would have quit the show because christian's my favorite character and i cannot imagine watching this show without christian i'm very very glad that gunny came when she did those people i forget what the ship's name was but those people in the jupiter air air area whatever you call it when the proto molecule made it into their ship dude oh my goodness gracious me <laughs> yeah i think i i think i spoke about everything honestly i i feel like that there's five episodes a lot happened and it's, it's kind of hard to like debrief when i watch it straight away especially having watched so many episodes but the main thing is that i really really enjoyed the season and i hope you guys enjoyed watching it with me as well thank you goodbye have a good one and see you soon